2 investigates tonight a security loophole when it comes to using indoor ATMs after hours. We've learned you often don't have to swipe a bank issued card to get inside. KTV's Eric Rasmussen is live now in Alameda with his investigation and the results that surprise customers and some security experts. Eric. Julie, the idea is that you're at least a little safer after dark using an enclosed, secured ATM like this one. But two investigates discovered what many criminals already know. You don't need a bank card to unlock this door. 7 p.m. at this Chase Bank in San Jose. We didn't need a bank card to get inside. It's the same place police say a man robbed customers twice in 2010. Look what happened in Seattle. A blind man robbed inside a Bank of America ATM vestibule in March. Cameras show the suspect swiped an unknown card to unlock the door. It's not clear if the attackers used bank cards to get inside. Two investigates found they didn't have to. This expired American Express gift card opened doors at two Chase banks in San Jose. The results? Even more surprising at Bank of the West on Market and Noe in San Francisco. Two investigates tested a stack of non-bank cards. Huh? This Lucky's grocery store card worked like a charm. So did nine other cards from Costco to Southwest Airlines. Even a Starbucks card with no money on it gets us right in the door. That's really weird. You would think that it's like secure. Phoebe Quinlan had to try it to believe. It. Her Wells Fargo card worked at this Sterling Bank in San Francisco, as did nearly all of our cards, including a club card for a bicycle shop. No problem getting in. They, I don't know. That like throws me off. It's really weird. Wow. Two investigates showed our video to security instructor Marcus Bronfeld with the Loss Prevention Group in Oakland. Do you think there might be a false sense of security inside that vestibule? I, without before I saw your videos, I would have felt a false sense of security. Pretty evident that anybody could walk in with just about any time and with an earphone in I might not even hear them come in over and over again we found the same issue at ATM vestibules around the Bay Area including this US Bank in Alameda Safeway card worked KTVU contacted each of the banks for answers ironically Sterling Bank declined citing security issues Bank of the West agreed to an interview but backed out the next day in an email US Bank said the card readers are not meant to keep out customers from other banks but but it could not explain why gift cards and club cards could open its vestibule. It raises the question, what's the point of the vestibule? San Francisco Sheriff Ross Mirkarimi says consumers shouldn't be the only ones taking responsibility for their safety. I think it's a message to the banking industry and financial institution industry that they should upgrade their technology. Until then, he says visiting an ATM after hours should be approached with the same caution, whether you're behind closed doors or not. A spokeswoman with the California Bankers Association told us its members are constantly trying to balance security with convenience. She urged everyone to always be aware of their surroundings. Live in Alameda, Eric Rasmussen, KTVU Channel 2.